Okay, let's start. So today I will be covering inline editing. So inline editing is not a Angular topic. It's just a way how we can insert and edit in table itself. Okay. So I'm using the same component which we have used for company. I have just created new component for uh, name with inline edit inline editing. Okay. Copy paste the same code from company. Changes are just I have added icon here. In uh, previous example, we have buttons here. I have just replaced those buttons with icons. So these are padding. So on click of this icon, edit icon, this company ID, we are not editing company ID. So this company name text box should be, uh, this TD should be converted with the text box. Okay, this is our rule. And uh, with this text box, these two icons will be replaced by save and cancel icon. Okay, so this is the task. So as you remember, as you remember the response is simple company ID and company name which we get from the API. So in get function, we just have to add two, one extra property to that response. Okay. So this is the response which we get from the particular API. So I'm just adding one additional property to this uh, array. Okay. For each. Then element will be my instance variable element then square bracket here i will be adding my property is id this is the property you can add anything it will be your property name by default it will be false okay i'm just using for loop to add one property to object of this array. Okay. We'll just print it here. After company ID, I'm giving dash and we'll print that value. Just to get you know that the property will work. Okay. So now you can see the property we have added. Okay, this is not coming from API. In component itself, we have just added one more property. So, okay. 
this was the company td okay. in company td if this is edit value is false then we have to just show the property uh, company name if it is true then we have to show the text box okay so here i am taking another div on this div i will be using ng if to show and hide so i have to show the actual name when this property is false so i am attaching here exclamation mark so once this becomes true i mean is edit property is false then it, this div will be active and if it is true then i have to show text box in ng model so with the text box we have to bind this particular company name so we will pass it here so this icon for edit so we have one function get company by id with that we will be calling with this function i will be sending complete data i mean form not particular property i am sending complete data okay data, data dot this was the property name is it is equal to true okay let's check this so one click of this edit icon you can see in data we get the actual data now is edit property is false okay so i'm just changing that is what is edit property to true okay so now you can see the text box okay so this is just inline editing basic concept so we normally with previous example on edit we have just open the side panel and in that side panel again we have load the form okay but if we know that there are two or three columns only in the particular column table so we don't need to open that particular uh, another div and show that form in the same case we can do that in the table itself with inline edit okay so on plus now first task is done that we have open the text box here in companies uh, td and second task will be to replace this icon with div icon and cancel icon so same case this ng if condition these icons will be visible for edit and delete when it is not in editable mode means is edit is false if it is true we have to provide two different icon
so cross icon you can see just uh, because we have used ng on both the dd so now in cross on click of cross icon i have to close the text box and go back to the previous text so what will i do Close. We are sending data from HTML. We just have to change that is edit property to false. Okay. Close icon. This is the inline edit. And on this uh, right click icon, we can hit our boot API. We don't need another div to open and hide. In same table, we can do all the things. You can see the values here in two and false. If it is false, if it is open, it will be true. Let me know if anyone has any questions. The changes is at the time of get API function, we have just added one more property. It is not coming from API. On client side, we are adding this property to this particular array. Okay. And on edit, we are just changing that property. By default, it is false. And once it is true on edit, when we have to show the text box, we are just changing that property to true. And on close, again, we are changing the value to false. And same operation which we have on the update and will be same for the both the cases. Just wait. The representation is different. Let me know if any has any questions. That was that's it for today. No questions, I guess. I'm committing food. Okay, then we'll close then. Anyone has any questions?